in your exams numericals may come on rl and rc surveys so quickly let's do a few of the numericals of transient response the first one is based on ramp excitation uh, this was asked in 2016 you are required to find out the current in the given network using laplace transform technique where r value is given to be 5 ohm and l is specified as 10 milli now the input is 5RT, as you know 5RT means it's having a slope of 5 and the slope is 5 and this function is known as 5RT. Let us write down the equation. My KVL equation 5RT minus this 5 into the current IT. Minus 10 milli Henry, so 10 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 Henry, this is L into di by dt is equal to 0. For those of you who have not understood, when the inductance is in Henry, then L di by dt is in volt because the current has been assumed to be in ampere. So now taking Laplace transform. we get 5 over s square minus 5 is minus 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 into s is minus i0 is equal to 0. Since in the question i0 has not been specified, so we will take i0 as a 0. This gives you 5 over s square as being equal to i s multiplied by 5 plus 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 s therefore i s can be written as 5 over s square 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2s plus 5. Now, before finding out the partial fraction, first and foremost thing that we always do is that whatever be the coefficient of s, we take, take out common and bring it on the numerator. So, from this term, when you take out 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 common and bring it on the top, this gives you I s is equal to 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 becomes 10 raised to the power 2 over s square s plus. Now you have taken 10 raised to the power minus 2 common, so here it will get divided by 10 raised to the power minus 2. So it will become 500. Let us split it into partial fraction a over s plus 500 plus b over s square plus d over s. Purposely d has been taken. Later on I will tell you why d. a will be equal to 5 into 10 raised to power 2 divided by minus 500 whole square. B will be equal to 5 into 10 is part 2 over 500, which comes out to be 1, and this comes out to be negative of. positive of one over five. Substituting the values of A and B and subtracting from this, we obtain the value of D. And once you have A, B, D with you, 
you can easily take the laplace inverse and the answer will be of the form you can do it yourself i t is equal to a e raised to the power minus 500 t plus b into t plus d and how multiplied by u t so it's just a matter of finding out the values of a b and d and then the answer comes out to be this one this question has appeared in 2014 midterm exam. Here the switch S is moved from the position 1 to position 2 from here to here at t is equal to 0 when a 5 volt DC gets impressed to the RL circuit. At what time does the voltage across the inductor become half of the voltage impressed? So basically we want to find out the current which will flow in the circuit after the switch has been moved from 1 to 2. Now, in all such questions, first of all, you need to find out what is the initial current in the inductor when it was at position 1 for a very long time. As you know, under steady state, for a DC supply, the inductor behaves as a short circuit. Therefore, when you had 1 volt source, a resistance of 1 ohm, and the inductor was behaving as a short circuit, then the current which was flowing through the inductor was equal to 1 volt divided by 1 ohm, that is 1 ampere. This becomes I0. Name it as 1. Now the next circuit, this is the solution. Now the next circuit with 5 UT being impressed, and switch is at position 2 becomes this let the current be it applying cable in this 5 ut minus 1 into it minus 1 di by dt is equal to 0 Taking Laplace transform on both the sides. Putting the value of I0, 1 ampere in equation 2. Taking parcel fraction. Where a is equal to 5 and B is equal to minus 4. Putting back IS becomes 5 over S minus 4 over S plus 1. On taking Laplace inverse, Now we have obtained the value of IT. We ought to find out the voltage across the inductor. IT we found out to be 5 minus 4 e raised to bar minus t ut. In order to find out the voltage across the inductor, it is equal to L di by dt. The value of L is 1 differentiation of d 5 minus 4 e raised to the minus t for t greater than 0 becomes first term vanishes minus of 4 e raised to the minus t multiplied by differentiation of e raised to the minus t so minus 1 here again which gives you 4 e raised to the power minus t for t greater than 0. Now VLT becomes half means 2 e raised to the power minus t. In this expression, when we substitute t is equal to t naught, the value should become 2e raised to the power minus t. 
So we had obtained the value of i t as being equal to five minus four e raised to the power minus t u t. We want to find out v l t, which is equal to l d i by d t, which is equal to one into differentiation of this term. Minus four e raised to the minus t. That is four e raised to the minus t. Excitation was five u t. When does the voltage become half of the voltage impressed? So the voltage impressed has become five by two, and this is getting equated to T naught, which gives you e raised to the power minus T naught as five over eight. Taking logarithm on both the sides, natural log on both sides. Minus of t naught is equal to ln of five over eight, which gives you t naught is equal to point four seven second. So this is your answer. The voltage has become half of the voltage impressed. Now we come on to the third question. An exponential signal, ten e raised to the power minus t, is applied at t is equal to zero. Determine the current at t is equal to point one second. Applying KVL in the loop. So this is your differential equation which has to be solved, and since initial condition has not been specified, so we have to take i not as zero. Taking Laplace transform, we have S i s simply because minus i zero is not existing right now. Plus of I s is equal to ten over s plus one. This ten over s plus one is the Laplace transform of ten e raised to the minus t. We can recall the formula right, right now. So I s becomes ten over s plus one whole square on taking Laplace inverse. And remembering the formula that Laplace inverse of one over s square is R t, one over s plus one whole square is e raised to the power minus t into R t. So that gives you I t as being equal to ten t into e raised to the power minus t. New t. We have to find out the current at time t is equal to point one second. Just replace the value of t by point one. And remember, we won't be using the term u t right um, after substituting the value of point one second, because the term u t just implies that this is the output for t greater than zero. Ten into point one becomes one, so the answer is one over e raised to the power point one. Or 
approximately e raised to the power minus 0.1, which gives you the value of Point nine five approximately. 